Freaks, welcome to The Vault. This is a brand new series on the channel where I buy out Yu-Gi-Oh collections around the globe. From local game stores to big market wholesalers, there is not a place I won't search for that perfect Yu-Gi-Oh collection. The amount of money I spend on each collection will be randomized each episode. I can spend anywhere from as low as $100 to upwards of $10,000 per collection. In today's episode, the number generator decided that we have a sizable budget of $2,500. So I went to my local game store, shout out to Sage Mantis, and struck a deal with one of the players. Let's call him Ricky. Ricky wanted $3,000 for his collection, but we managed to close the deal at a whopping $2,450. But wait, there is a big catch. And this is the catch. So basically guys, we need to profit from this collection. We only need to make a dollar over what we spent. So we originally spent $2,450. I'm going to round that up to $2,500. And if we manage to make a dollar more than $2,500, I'm going to unlock one of the coolest prizes on this channel. Since this is a collection series, I'm going to be giving away one collection. I have it right here to one of you subscribers this is one of my earlier collections when I started getting back into the game and if you want to enter for a chance to win your own Yu-Gi-Oh collection all you have to do is like subscribe comment down below and make sure to hit that bell notification so you can be notified in case you win this absolutely insane prize but before we get into this I do have one more giveaway this is going to be a bonus giveaway I'm gonna give away a play set of any card I find with within this binder. And I'm only gonna give it to somebody in the comment section who follows the codes throughout the video. So make sure to include those codes in your comment when you see them. Okay guys, enough intro, enough speaking. It's time to crack open this baby and let's see if we can profit. Behold, by the way, this binder is gorgeous guys. All right, let me zoom in. So basically we have a black luster soldier of chaos, ghost rare from ghost of the past one, right? This is an absolute absolutely bonkers card. This is gonna complete my play set of the Ghost Rare. When I saw it, bro, this was absolutely beautiful. We gotta add that to our collection. I see we have a Serpent Knight Dragon from Metal Raiders. That's insane. We have a first edition Mirage Knight Super Rare. We have three guys, Summoned Skull Secret Rares from the Battle Tins, I believe. Let's see what these three cards are. Uh, I have a feeling I know what they are. All right, ready? And there we go, a Secret Rare. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon first edition from Magic Ruler, guys. And guess what? We have two and we have three. All right, guys, for the left hand side, we have three ultra rare red eyes black dragons from Starter Deck Joey first edition. That is insane. Not to mention down below, we have three future fusion first edition. I need to get that. I love these old school ultis. And guys, we have a secret where we have a place that of Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Okay, they're not first edition. They're limited editions from E-Hero Collection 1. And on the right-hand side, we have an Exo Sister Martha. We have a playset of Sage with Eyes of Blue first edition secret rares. And we have a playset of Invader of Darkness first edition from Invasion of Chaos. Guys, we have another secret card right here. What can it be? Let's find out. And it's a Starlight Rare Shooting Majestic Dragon. I gave one of these away on the channel before so i had to get a replacement and guys this is an absolute beauty one of the best looking starlights in my personal opinion i love it all right so getting on to the next page we have a runic fountain from tactical masters we have an instant contact from power of the elements we have a play set of ultimate slayer secret rares from power of the elements first edition this is insane and on the bottom we have a play set of prismatic secret rares cross out designator from mega pack 22 so on the right side we have three mystery cards we're going to save that for last and down here we have three chimera tech fortress dragons and we have two blue eyes uh chicken dragons from mega pack 22 awesome we have a play set up here and then we have another mystery card here so let's see what we're gonna get for our first one we have let's go forbidden droplet from the mega pack 22 we have one forbidden droplet two forbidden droplets and this 
completes our playset of Forbidden Droplets. Let's see what we have in store with this last one before we move on. Drum roll, please. We have, that's right, a Prismatic Secret Rare Pot of Prosperity. The best Prismatic Secret Rare, in my opinion, from that tin. Okay, starting off with the next page, we have Dawn Zaluf. We have a playset of Dawn Zaluf. And the reason I like these in particular is because these are the Lost Art promos. Down here, we have a gold Access Code Talker. I still think it's worth a pretty penny. We have an ultra rare Nibiru the Primal Being, a Ash Blossom Prismatic from the tin, and we have two Scareclaw Trihearts. And for the right side, we have a playset of unknown cards, and we're gonna check that out later. And we have a Bestial Magna Hood playset with a Bestial Druze Worm playset. Now let's figure out what exactly is in this mystery playset. Let's find out. And we have, let's go, we got Blazing Cartesia, the Virtuous. Guys, originally this was like a $20 card, but now that we have the playset, they're like $42 each, and that is absolutely insane. All right, guys, on to the next. All right, so we start off with Hugging the Runic Wings. I believe this guy opened a ton of Tactical Masters, which is a set that I hold in high regard. And down here we have a playset of Grave Keeper's Inscription, guys. This just came out of Photon Hypernova, and I see we have a mystery playset. We're gonna unveil that towards the end. So on the right, we have a playset of Beyond the Pendulum Secret Rares from Dimension Force. Love to see that card right there. We have a mystery card, and we have a masterpiece, the true Draco Slaying King, guys. It's an unlimited copy from Maximum Price. It's, it's near mint. It's an absolutely gorgeous card. Alongside that, we have a Cash Tira Theosis. We have a playset of Gigantic Champion Sargos. I know this card isn't worth a lot, but I love this art a lot. All right, guys, let's find out what the mystery playset is for the left-hand side. And we have Access Code Talker. Let's go. As you can see, guys, we have a playset of Secret Rare Access Code Talkers from Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. Now let's figure out exactly what is this mystery card. Let's find out, freaks. And this is Cash Tira Fenrir Ultra Rare. Now this card did go down in value you but it's still a pretty expensive card i believe it's in the 30 dollar range on to the next page we have a play set of big welcome labyrinth down to the bottom we have change of heart infinite impermanence and skill drain all from magnificent mavens down here we have two marincess marbled rock one marincess coral anemone and all three of these are first editions from rising rampage which is a set i'm going to do a you win everything real soon with so stay tuned for that on the right side we have a mystery card and we have fortune lady also a first edition from rising rampage and we have guardian slime i'm not sure about the value of this card but i think it's worth a couple dollars and we have two secret rare spellbounds from darkwing blast this card was worth quite a bit of money but now it kind of went down unfortunately but still great to see a pair of these and guys this is such a cool card right here we have an ultra rare volcanic doom fire first edition from force of the breaker down below i think some of you already saw it we have a play set of harpy's pet dragon from forbidden memories guys these are all near mint one of the most iconic cards in my opinion from the dual monsters era and we have it right here guys now let's find out what is our mystery card all right ready guys and it's a starlight black wing armor master that is right one of the fantastic starlights from battles of legends crystal revenge it's not worth a ton but guys it is one of the most beautiful cards in that set look at how that artwork shines in the light all right guys on to the next page we have a pair of sprite spring from darkwing blast love to see that we have psychic and punisher i believe from dimension force and down here we have a play set of secret rare boral load savage dragons from battles of legend crystal revenge i know they're not worth a lot but we have the mad flame kaiju on the top here we continue with battles of legend crystal revenge and we have a toon black luster 
soldier playset. Down here, we have three Red Eyes Dark Dragoons prismatic rares from the 2022 tins. Love to see that right there. And down here, we have another card that's not worth a lot of money. But guys, this is Insect Princess. It's a first edition from Invasion of Chaos. On the next page, we have Garura, the Wings of Resonant Life. We have two ultra rares from Power of the Elements. We have a Millennium Eyes Stick. I kind of wish this was from the original printing, but it's actually for Magnificent Mavens. We look down here, we have a pair of Luster Dragons first edition from Legacy of Darkness. And down here, we have Judge Man, one of the most iconic Kaiba cards, in my opinion. And this is a first edition from Legendary Collection Kaiba. I love that they gave these an ultra rare upgrade. So for the left, we start off, guys. This is one of the things that made me so drawn to this collection is the fact that we can find cards like Amazon is Chain Master in Sneak Peek Preview. So down here, we have five Headed Dragon. I believe these are the gold versions. We have Anti-Magic Arrows down here from Battle City Pack, and I love this. These are all near mint. On to the next. So moving on to the next page, we have Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. I believe these came from Battle of Chaos. Next up, we have the Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. Down here, we have Magician Navigation First Edition. I don't, I don't remember which set this came from. And guess what, guys? We have more mystery card up top. So we're going to get that to the end. Down here, guys, we have three Swords of Revealing Light. Now, these aren't just any Swords of Revealing Light. These are from Hobby League. Now, for those who don't know, Hobby League cards are very thick cards. They kind of have that prismatic foiling effect, but they're not secret rares. They're ultra rare prismatic cards, kind of. As we move on to the next space, you can see we have more Hobby League stuff. We have Mystical Space typhoon now moving on we have fang of critius next we have more sneak preview cards this is ancient lamp but when is the last time you guys saw ancient lamp in anybody's collection now be honest for the hero collectors we have elemental hero grand neos this is the ultra rare first edition from strike of neos we also have more hero stuff we have elemental hero rampart blaster first edition ultra rares from elemental energy i believe that's so insane and down here, we continue with the GX theme. We have Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem First Edition. And we're From continuing on to the next page, guys. We have Super Rare Card of Sanctity from the Lost Millennium. We have Ectoplasm Super Rares right here. First Editions from Soul of the Duelist, I believe. Glad to have that. And down here, guys, come on, bro. Super Rare First Edition Skyscrapers from Cybernetic Revolution. I wish I had the Ultimate Rare variants, but just have Having the original supers is so nostalgic for me. On to the right hand side, we have a playset of Dark Paladin Dual Terminal Rares. This is one of the better variants of Dark Paladin. I love the artwork and I love that they're dual terminal. I'm a huge dual terminal fanboy. Guess what? We're continuing on with the heroes. We have Elemental Hero Thunder Giant First Edition Ultra Rares from the Lost Millennium, guys. guys. This is one of my favorite cards in the whole collection. Look, we have a playset of Exodia. Necros limited edition from Master Collection 2. Down to the next, we have Mattel Action Promos. We have Water Dragon. Next up, we have Elemental Hero Neos. These cards spiked up tremendously when Power of the Elements hit the market because of all the Neo support. We have a mystery playset right here. We're going to see that in the end. And guess what? We have Winged Karibo Level 9 First Edition from Legendary Collection GX. And down here, we have Guardian Dread Skate. Let's find out what this mystery playset is. Our playset is, there we go, Toon Kingdom Ultimate Rare from OTS Pack 14. All right, on to the next. We have a playset of Secret Rare Mimikats from Dragon of Legends 2, I believe. And we have Comic Hand from the same set, Secret Rare, and Toon Mask from the same set. And on the right, guess what, guys? We have a playset of number 39 utopia these are precious these are so beautiful in collector's rare and down here we have wind up zen meister ultimate rare first edition i think this is from generation force and down here we have scape goats guys these are from hobby league five guys look at this this is ancient gear beast ultimate rare 
first edition from the Lost Millennium. Up next, we have Zoa, guys. I think this is from one of the game promos, and they're all near mint. Up next, we have a very underrated card, Arm Dragon Level 10. This is one of the most underrated cards, in my opinion. On the right side, we have Dark Magician Secret Rares from Forbidden Legacy. This is so cool, guys. They're limited edition. We also have Red Eyes Black Dragon, so we're continuing with the DM Era card, and this is, I believe, Dark Beginning 1. Down here, we have Dark Magician Girl from the movie pack. We're down to the last few cards. We have a playset of Number C, Drake by down here this is fantastic we have uh the bootleg egyptian gods uh lord of the searing flames lord of phantasms and we have lord of striking thunder first edition they're all from shadow of infinity down below that we have elemental hero Bursinatrix near mint limited edition copies from e hero collection one we have all mystery cards so we're gonna find out exactly what we're dealing with we're gonna go with the top first let's see what we find and we have let's go Oh, a secret Pharaoh's Rare from King's Court. And for the next mystery card, we have, there we go. We're continuing with the theme, the Winged Dragon of Wrath. I'm going to think this card must be, that's right, Slifer. And this is one of the reasons I had to pick up this collection. And this card right here, it's, there we go. We have a Starlight Yada Garasu from Battles of Legends, Crystal Revenge. And for our second to last card, we have there we go another starlight rare we have Asa the earth chandler this card was one of the starlights i gave away earlier in my channel's history i guess you could call it that and last but not least let's see what we have and let's go we have a shooting star dragon ultimate rare first edition from star strike blast